Let's give the Lord a round of applause, gentlemen, sisters. Today's meal is sponsored by A New Beginning. Let's give them a round of applause. Praise God. The title of today's message, brothers, is called Have You Heard? Have you heard the Lord is my shepherd? I shall not want. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside still waters. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths. Bring an honor to his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overfloweth. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Have you heard, brothers and sisters, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither is faint nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases their strength. Amen. Have you not heard of the one who knows the end from the beginning? The one that holds the universe and the stars in their very form. Have you not heard, brothers and sisters, that you are the head and not the tail? Have you not heard? Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord. Have you not heard? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Have you not heard? If God be for me, who can be against me? Have you not heard he is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path? What is the meaning of all this? And why am I doing what I'm doing, brothers? Let me explain this and pay attention. Saturday after Saturday, Month after month, year after year, we have given you scripture upon scripture, message upon message, time after time. And time again. Look at the gentleman. Now, by looking at this gentleman, what did you say? That he is a very powerful man of God because all the scripture he has? Look at him. Weekend after weekend, month after month, the scriptures pile up because we bring them to you. The true and infallible word of the living God. Now, here's my point, gentlemen. Eating and partaking of the spiritual food that gives life. You're eating, when you do this, from the table of the Lord. You're eating from the Lord's table. Look how much word this man has. He has received the spiritual food and outwardly, you would say that he's a powerful man because you can see all the scripture he has. But you see, he has to take that scripture, gentlemen, and he has to read it. He has to live it. He has to eat it. He has to seek the Lord. He has to be in prayer fervently. He has to hunger and he has to thirst for righteousness. Because if you don't, gentlemen, if you don't do this, when you die, 
You will stand in the court of justice. Now listen to this, gentlemen. Where the accuser will say to the judge, and who's the judge? The judge is God. The accuser is the enemy. The accuser will say he was given scripture after scripture, verse after verse, weekend after weekend, month over month over month. Month over month over month. But guess what the accuser is going to say? But he did not eat from your table. He didn't eat from the table of the Lord. But he remained at our table, the accuser will say, eating our food, the food of demons. Eating the food of demons, gentlemen. Don't take this word and set it aside. Don't take the word and set it aside and don't put it in your pocket. In John 6, 63, it says, The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words I have spoken to you are spirit, and they are life. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, gentlemen, Eat of this food that you may have life, that you may be made whole, that you may walk in the paths of righteousness, that you may be found blameless in the day of judgment. This is the spiritual food, gentlemen, given to all men that they might be saved through the person, through the life, through the work of who? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For Jesus is the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. God. Action speaks louder than words, gentlemen. Don't have all this word that we give you week in and week out. And only end up with this. Let me show you. Don't end up with this, this little Bible here. Don't end up with one or two verses. That's not the point of why we're here. We want to have this or do you want to walk around with this? Because if you walk around with this, how are you going to fight the enemy? Listen, gentlemen. In fact, your ability to know him would only be limited to your desire. It would only be limited to your desire. So the question is, do you desire God? Do you? Jesus doesn't care where you've been, gentlemen. He only cares about where you're going. It's called repentance. Believing in him alone for your forgiveness. That he is the son of the living God. That he would impart to you eternal life found in him alone. That's why he cares about where you're going. So much so that he wants none to perish, but that all would come to repentance. So I ask you, have you not heard? Stop being hand fed. Stop coming out here weekend after weekend and get in the scripture and you forget it by the time you get to the end of the line. Start feeding on the word yourselves that you may grow in righteousness and that you may be conformed to Christ and that you may have a beautiful relationship with him. Yeah. Put on the mind of Christ, clothe yourself in righteousness and feast. Feast on the word of God. You're hungry? Eat this. Eat it. Because this is what matters and this is what's going to give you life. With the hunger and a thirst that cannot be satisfied, and a hunger and a thirst that cannot be quenched, gentlemen, so that you may say to someone else, Have you not heard? And with that, we'll go to prayer. If you'll bow your heads with me, please. Father God, we just thank you for this beautiful day.
for the Holy Spirit moving, Father God, touching the hearts of these gentlemen here. Father God, you know their hearts above all. And I ask that you search and you seek their hearts, that they may be called according to your will and your purpose, Father God, that they may walk in the narrow road, that they may walk in the path of righteousness, that they may repent and turn away from the things of the flesh, that they may crucify their flesh and follow you, Lord Jesus, for you are light. You are the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to you, up to the Father, but by you. With that, we love you. Bless these men. Bless the hands that prepared the meal. Bless the staff here, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we all say. Amen. Amen. Amen.